If people didn't already know your music, then so far this week they'll already have uh, developed a strong sense of your fascination for your love of orchestral colour. Mm. And you say that as you imagine music, uh, as you hear it in the head, it's absolutely clear to you at any point what instrument is, is going oh, to yes. be playing. That's always the case. And absolutely. And has always oh, been the case. Has always been the case. Even when I was a child writing hopeless <laughs> symphonies, because I had no idea about composition technique, I still had the sound of the instruments in my mind. That must be a, a, just a fantastic advantage because, for, you know, for many composers, the sweat of actually then figuring out what's going to happen is is uh, something that they regard as a huge chore. Really. Well, I, yes. I mean, I've got a lot of composer friends whose friendship I value, and I know one or two of them do find orchestration one of the harder jobs, but I actually can't understand that because I get my ideas from the sound of the instrument as much as from anything else. I mean, if, I, if I'm if i starting to write a piece and I start with the oboe, it is the choice of the oboe that defines the notes of the tune, hmm. for me. Uh, and um, the concerto for orchestra starts with trumpets. Well, it had to. It had to. That's, that's where I... And the rhythm, the, 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 the rhythm, the repeated notes and so on. It's all part of the, part of being the trumpet.